This is Abby Alderetti, and today I'd like to talk about the feet and why they are so important to me. Feet are a very big passion of mine. I find them to be essential and integral to our alignment and balance and comfort in our bodies. So I'm really happy you could join me today. So first I'm going to apply general pressure to the feet just to wake them up. The foot, just like the hands and the ears and the scalp, have a lot of nerve endings. So it's a wonderful way to warm you up before activity, but also before we start getting in there and working on the tissue. exactly where we're at with mobility in her foot. There is a difference between ankle mobility and actual tarsal mobility. And I can feel tension all in here. So I find the feet to be very important. They have the highest potential for mobility in the body with all these little tarsals, ligaments and tendons, similarly to the hand. So when we limit the mobility of the tarsals and of the foot in general, we actually ask every joint above to overmove outside of its authentic and originally intended mobility range, or outside of its original range of motion. When you ask a joint to mobilize more than it's used to, the body responds by tensing the muscles around the joint in order to protect it. So if we want to en encourage balance in the body, we have to address the relationship between the mobility and the tension in the joints and how they relate to each other. And a wonderful way to do that is through the feet. If I increase the mobility of Chandler's foot, she will have an easier time accessing the muscles and alignment in order to spring and move through her day or her exercise. This will also protect her knees and her hips for they won't have to work for alignment and stability. Some of the things that can reduce the mobility in your feet is actually walking on uh, flat ground like concrete or hardwood floor. Um, also providing inserts or any support from underneath the foot can cause the arches to collapse. Once the arches collapse, that's when your feet really start to tense up in efforts to protect and muscle through your day. But the arches in the foot are basically like three bridges in the foot, right here. And so if you apply pressure to a bridge from underneath, the bridge itself will collapse. And that's very similar to the three bridges we have in the arches. If we apply pressure or support from underneath, the arches collapse. And if we invite the fascial lines to be a part of this scenario, 
the fascial lines will collapse as well. So one of those lines comes in right into the arch, goes up the calf, up the inside of the thigh, into the psoas, all the way to your neck. So if we provide support on the arch, the entire line of support up to your neck will collapse with it. So some things to do to help foot mobility and also to strengthen them up a bit. Could be as simple as taking time out of your day to walk on the dirt or the grass barefoot. Sometimes that can be a little painful, especially if we're really used to supportive shoes or if we already have um, injuries or plantar fasciitis coming forward. So another way to work with your feet to increase the mobility is to roll a ball underneath from the ball of the foot all the way back to the heel, not too far because that can get uncomfortable, but stimulating the bottom of the foot and maybe digging into areas that are tighter than others. You can curl your toes around the ball to activate your arch support. And sometimes that activation can unglue adhesive muscles and knots. Another trick to strengthen your toes, you can put them on the edge of a staircase or the ledge and curl your toes around the end and then lift one toe at a time and put one toe down at a time and then do it the other way. I know it sounds impossible. All you have to do is try. You don't have to get it right. <laughs> but in general, if you are massaging your partner or wanting to find some cool techniques, I really enjoy applying pressure to the top of the foot. In this area, I'll put pressure or as far up to the tib anterior. A lot of the times, because we have lost the spring in our arches from too much support, we will overuse the flexors of the foot to lift every time we walk, instead of using the spring to lift. So these guys get really tight, overdeveloped, and they are a very easy way to release the tension in the tarsals. Also, the tension all the way up into the hip and the lower back. I have the most results in people's hips just by focusing on the relationship between the toes and the knee, anything that's in between there. So because of that overuse of the flexors, Chandler does not herself have this problem, but a lot of the times these three toes here will kind of glue together. People have a hard time separating these toes out. Um, but that's because they are directly connected to that tib anterior and the flexors of the foot, which we overuse. So I enjoy putting pressure on the top of the foot navigating a cluster of nerves in this area. Always create freedom and let your patient tell you if you're stepping over their boundaries or hurting them. But I will put pressure right here on the outside of the foot and then oppose that pressure from the lateral ball of the foot as well. It doesn't take much. It's a sensitive area. You can really feel how the arch is glued together and working in relationship to that tension line.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.